a 100-foot crack sent shockwaves across the internet. Was Yellowstone finally revealing a threat lurking beneath America's most dangerous volcano? Headlines warned of disaster, yet scientists probing the real geology uncovered. Strange signs, bizarre minerals, powerful heat bursts, and unexplained seismic whispers inside the caldera. What if this fracture is not the danger, but the symptom of something far deeper waking up? Long before tourists snapped photos of geysers, Yellowstone was the stage for some of the most violent eruptions in Earth's history. The land beneath the park hides scars from three colossal blasts. The first, about 2.1 million years ago, tore open the crust and left behind a caldera stretching 40 miles long and 25 miles wide. That eruption scattered ash across half of North America. Roughly 800,000 years later, another surge of molten rock erupted, reshaping the landscape yet again. Then, 640,000 years ago, the most recent super-eruption unleashed a force 2,000 times greater than Mount St. Helens, carving out the vast basin visitors walk across today. Each of these explosions left behind a collapsed crater, or caldera, so massive that entire mountain ranges seem to bow around its rim. Even now, the ground above this ancient wound rises and falls by inches each year a slow-motion reminder of the power locked below. Yellowstone's violent past is not just a story of ancient disaster, it is the reason scientists track every shudder and swell, knowing that the scale of what happened here makes this place unlike any other on the planet. Beneath Yellowstone's forests and geysers, the ground is in constant silent motion. This landscape sits atop one of the world's most active magmatic systems, a two-layered engine that breathes heat and pressure into the crust. The upper chamber lies just three to nine miles below the surface, a region of partially molten rock feeding the park's famous hot springs and geysers. Far deeper, at 12 to 28 miles down, a vast reservoir stretches across the caldera, holding a volume of semi-molten rock several times greater than the upper zone. These layers are not static. Magma and heated fluids move between them, sometimes pushing upward, sometimes retreating. As this happens, the ground above responds. GPS sensors scattered across the caldera measure the earth rising or sinking by fractions of an inch to a few inches each year. In the early 2000s, the White Lake area swelled by more than 10 inches in just six years, a reminder that this system is always shifting even when nothing appears to change at the surface. Scientists track these subtle changes with an array of more than 40 monitoring stations. Each sensor records the smallest vertical movements, capturing the heartbeat of a living, breathing volcano. The patterns of uplift and subsidence reveal a cycle of recharge and release as deep magma pulses upward pressurizing the rocks, then slowly subsides. This is not a relic of the past. Yellowstone's underground machinery is active today, shaping the land above in ways that are visible only through the language of numbers and sensors. In July 2018, climbing guides in Grand Teton National Park noticed a growing crack in a granite buttress above Hidden Falls, not far from Jenny Lake. Park rangers responded within hours, closing off popular trails and viewing points to keep visitors away from the unstable rock. The fissure stretched about 100 feet, enough to warrant real concern for anyone nearby. Over the next several months, geologists from the National Park Service monitored the site, measuring changes and checking for fresh movement. Their field reports pointed to a familiar culprit, freeze-thaw cycles. Water had seeped into tiny fractures, frozen during cold snaps, and slowly pried the rock apart, a process as old as the mountains themselves. By November, a large section of the buttress finally broke away, crashing down just as the geologists predicted. But while the real event played out quietly in the Tetons, viral videos told a different story. Online headlines screamed of a 100-foot crack splitting open Yellowstone, warning of an impending supervolcano eruption. 
Some videos pasted NASA logos over the footage, adding fake warnings and dramatic narration. The panic spread quickly, fueled by social media algorithms and disaster-themed channels hungry for clicks. A National Park Service geologist traced the viral footage frame by frame, matching skyline, tree lines, and even the angle of summer sunlight to Grand Teton, 30 miles south of Yellowstone. Metadata from the original videos confirmed the date and location. Official statements from the USGS and Yellowstone Volcano Observatory made it clear the crack had nothing to do with volcanic activity. It was a case of ordinary weathering in solid granite far removed from the restless magma that lies beneath Yellowstone's surface. Seismic imaging has revealed a hidden lid beneath Yellowstone, a volatile rich cap sitting nearly 3.8 kilometers below the surface. This layer stretches beneath much of the caldera, forming a porous, sponge-like barrier between the shallow magma chamber and the overlying crust. Its porosity, measured at about 14%, allows it to hold not just molten rock, but also pockets of supercritical water and trapped gases. The composition of this cap is unlike solid granite or basalt. It is a tangled network of fractured rock, saturated with fluids under immense pressure and heat. Supercritical water, neither purely liquid nor vapor, moves through these spaces, carrying dissolved gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide that eventually vent through Yellowstone's geysers and fumaroles. The cap acts as both a seal and a pressure valve. It prevents most of the deeper heat and volatiles from escaping all at once forcing them to migrate slowly upward through cracks and faults. When conditions change, such as a pulse of new magma rising from below or shifts in fluid pressure, this lid can temporarily trap more gas, building up tension within the crust. Scientists from Rice University, using advanced tomography, have traced the boundaries of this cap and mapped its role in controlling Yellowstone's restless energy. The presence of this volatile rich layer explains why the system can store heat and pressure for thousands of years, only releasing it through periodic bursts, sometimes as quiet steam, sometimes as explosive hydrothermal events. The anatomy of this cap is key to understanding the strange minerals and sudden heat pulses found in Yellowstone's surface deposits. On July 23rd, 2024, Black Diamond Pool in Yellowstone's Biscuit Basin erupted with a force that stunned even veteran field researchers. Without warning, a jet of steam and muddy water blasted hundreds of feet into the air, scattering rocks the size of small boulders across the landscape and tearing apart a section of the boardwalk. In the aftermath, scientists mapped the debris and collected fragments coated with glassy silica clear evidence of rapid cooling and intense heat. Lab analysis revealed minerals like amorphous silica and chalcedony, pointing to temperatures between 150 degrees Celsius and 250 degrees Celsius, far hotter than any surface pool, but still well below magmatic extremes. The blast was triggered by a hidden process. As silica-rich fluids sealed off cracks below the pool, pressure built silently until the system failed, sending superheated water flashing to steam. No one was hurt, but the event left a stark reminder. Beneath Yellowstone's calm surface, immense energy moves in ways that are nearly impossible to predict. Mike Poland, the scientist in charge at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, reviews the latest data every month. As of June 2025, the network of over 40 sensors spread across the caldera shows no unusual patterns. Seismic activity remains steady, with only minor earthquake swarms well within normal ranges. GPS tilt meters track the ground's subtle movements, and the recent figures show nothing more than the park's usual slow subsidence, fractions of an inch per year. Gas detectors continue to sample the air for shifts in carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, and the results match the long-term averages. Poland puts the odds of an eruption at 1 in 700,000 for any given year, a number that has not changed despite the headlines. 
every tremor, every puff of steam is logged and analyzed in real time. The vigilance is constant and the message from the data is clear. Yellowstone's underground engine is active, but quiet. There is no sign of impending unrest. Today, Yellowstone's magma chambers churn beneath a calm surface, while misinformation spreads faster than any eruption. As science races to keep pace with rumor, public vigilance matters more than ever. The real danger is not what is visible, it is what we fail to notice right beneath our feet.